Oh no, it's that annoying kid again. Who are you calling annoying? At least I don't have hair like a scarecrow. <laughs> Can I get a little bit of? Or really just a little bit of? Can I get a little bit of? Can I get a little bit of? Or really just a little bit of? Yo, yo, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy TJ, and you already know what time it is. Know what time it is. <laughs> boy, if you don't get it's time to play some Skies of Arcadia Legends. Yo, so in the last one, we explored Sailor's Island. It's Sailor's Island, right? Yeah, Sailor's Island. And we somehow convinced Drachma to travel with us again by telling him that there is a harpoon cannon located in Valua, which is where we need to go anyway. So, also, we just escorted someone to the Kingdom of Nazir, which is this very sandy place that we are at now. <laughs> but nah, in this episode, we are going to Valua so we can get the harpoon cannon and so we can save our peoples. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you get notified every single time we post. This is a very popular series, so I know we can do this. Let's try to get this video up to at least, at least five likes. Maybe ten. Shit, who knows? <laughs> Alright, so whether you are ready or not, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Let's... Do this! Alright, so before we go to Lua, we're gonna have to backtrack just a little bit. It's gonna have to be after this fight though. <laughs> I'll show this on camera. Alright, uh. Let's take you up. I don't know what you're bugging out like that. Uh, let's go after you. And then you, sir. Wait, hold on. Oh, you don't have a move yet. That's crazy. Take out the Morocco. I don't even think that's what it's called. That's what I'm calling it. Are you didn't die? You didn't die either. Hook him. <laughs> Let's go, Drachma. Counter attack? Let's go, Vice? You about to attack me and oh shit. <laughs> we silent. I don't use magic with him anyway, so I guess it's fine. Let me hit me. That literally did nothing to him. That's crazy. Alright, you gotta get your revenge, homie. But first, you go after him. You take out the other one. You, you get your revenge since he tried to hurt you. Bah! <laughs> Never done the strawberry try to try to kill me. Not intentionally at least. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on. Alright, now like I said, we're actually gonna backtrack a bit. Back to Sailor's Island. Because there is something, well for one I want to get the bounty on um Baltimore. But for two, I honestly I actually forgot to talk to Doc again. Because we only gave him two of them and I think we have three of them. Right, where's Doc at? This is 
Doc? No, it's not Doc. Where you at, Doc? Is that you? That is you. Why are you so far out, homie? What up, homie? Hi. I know you're just gonna say the same things again, so let's just skip ahead to, you know, the rewards. You received the flame mantle. Whatever the hell that is. Alright, well, be sure to go out there and catch more moonfish from Maria's little friend. Yeah, there was only one left. But I remember we could because I remember we got that one from from Pirates Island. So what the heck is a flame mantle? Because I'm I'm actually very curious. I don't know what that is. A dress crafted from extremely weight fabric. Oh shoot, so it might be for Aka, not you. Oh I have a moonberry? I got two moonberries. Hold on, I didn't even know. Switch to Dracula so I can give him his first move. Hell yeah. That's tackle. That move is freaking crazy. Hold on, let me let me read the the, the, the thing. Dracula concentrates all of his energy into his metal armor. Arm, arm, and charges one enemy. It's a big move, I'll tell you that. Alright, Aka, this the lady I was looking for. Uh, Mystic Dress? No, it's not for you, actually. Who the hell is it for? Oh, shoot, that raises defense and magic like crazy. Hold on. I'm not giving that to you, you're already strong. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to, I'm gonna give it to Vice. What? Heck yeah, look at that. That raises up his defense like crazy. I'm sorry. It just said it was a dress. I thought it, you know what, whatever. I'm not even gonna get into that situation. You know how the world is today. It's probably gonna make me lose some subscribers. <laughs> Do I wanna give this to him? I'm never gonna use it. I'll show it off once, but I'm never gonna use it. This unlocks Counter-Strike. Vice takes a defensive stance. Countering all enemies' physical attacks for a full turn. So basically, you just waste a waste turn unless you get attacked. But you just counterattack. It's it's point. It's pointless. It's literally a useless skill. Let's talk to homie. Okay, so basically, he just said like, "I hear you defeated Black the Blackbeard, um, Baltor." So gave us the bounty for it. All right, we got that. Let's get the freak out of here. On the way to Balua. I'll meet you guys halfway there. There's the yellow moon. And that's that's Balua. There it is. I was about to say, like, where's the where's the ship at? There you are. Beyond this point is the Baluan Empire. Show me your entry passport. Passport? I've got one right here. Take your time looking it over. Hmm. Very well. You may proceed. I kill you even if you shut up. I was gonna go even if you said if you said no. Looks like we made it through. We just passed the balloon security checkpoint. That's quite an accomplishment, don't you think? Yeah. I thought getting into Balua would be a lot tougher. Now all you have to do is sneak into. Oh shoot, that's bright. Ah! Huh? What's that? This is the only entrance into the city of Balua. Grand Fortress. Baloo is surrounded by impassable mountains, so that is the only way in or out. Wow. I can't believe they actually built something that big. During the Baloo Nazareth War, over 100 Nazareth warships bombarded this fortress 100 days. Or for days. 100 days. However, all the shells were repelled by these walls. The fortress may be the strongest structure of the new world. But the place is all dark and gloomy. The hell? Look, it's moving. Are they strapped? <laughs> Look at all those cannons. They strapped. Nobody breaking in there. Those cannons are huge, oh my goodness. The 
door of the fortress opens only once a day to allow ships to pass through. The back side of that wall is completely lined with cannons. It was those cannons that nearly wiped out the entire Nazareth fleet. Defense and offense, all in one? It's the invincible fortress. That's where they're holding Captain Don and Fina. No prisoner has ever escaped from that fortress. Although, I've heard that there is one way out. Really? Then it's possible. Huh. Yeah, after they execute prisoners, the corpses are thrown off the island. That's just great. What are we gonna do now? <laughs> no one's ever escaped, because I've never tried. I love a challenge. Don't Let's worry, go. I will rescue our friends and escape from that fortress. Just watch me. Yo, Vice is bold, bro. I like that confidence. You know, confidence builds character. That's that's crazy. Man. I like Vice. Yeah, hey, girl. I see you, girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stuck here for the night. I'm gonna be real. Vice is a loyal dude, bro. Because if it was me, I would have been like, "Yo, they, they're goners." Because <laughs> this, this seems like too much to, to deal with. Lord, wait, oh, it's, it's Ramirez. Okay, Lord Galshin, your admirals have assembled as you have commanded. I used the wrong voice at first. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, shoot. Hey, who's a, who's a cutie in the middle? Admirals of the Valuan Armada, let me first offer my gratitude to each of you for assembling on such short notice. Let it be known that we have successfully captured a citizen of the Silver Civilization, as Empress Theodora requested. What? How? Oh wait, that was an old dude, my bad. <laughs> so, we finally captured one. Who accomplished this? <laughs> of course, I was the one to find her first. This is Alfonso. This is the motherfucker we met at the beginning of the game. I'm going to be real with you, he ain't nothing special. In all honesty, he really just a little bitch. I crippled her ship and captured her, but I was betrayed by my own vice captain, and she was taken from me. I'm, hmm. sure, I'm sure Empress Theodora is very pleased that she was recovered. This is Gregorio. I can't stand this old bitch. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. He cool. <laughs> now... If we, can, if we can persuade her to give us the information we need, it would be worth all the effort we spent tracking her down. You said that, you said that the citizen of the Silver Civilization that you found was a woman? This is Vigoro. This is the original Mr. Studio Girl. I mean, he a little aggressive, and he kind of a perv, but you leave her around your girl, she gonna be his. Trust. <laughs> now that's something worth getting excited over. How old is she? Is she good looking? Does she wear leather? I like my woman wild and crazy. Oh my goodness, this dude is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of luck, Vigoro. This is Valeta. She fine. But don't let her looks trick you. You let her get too close, she'll be hitting you in the back of the head like Dragon be hitting Vice. The girl is, ex is the exact opposite. She's very shy and demure. Her name is Fina. She is currently being escorted to see Empress Theodore in the Imperial Palace. <laughs> very good, Admiral Beleza. This motherfucker crazy. I mean, it's in his name. De loco. I see that you are our espionage expert for good reasons. Of course, <laughs> of course, being the head of the weapon development, I have a deeply vested interest 
and the technology of the silver civilization. <laughs> I will head back to the Imperial Palace and await Empress Theodora's orders to commence the search for the Moon Crystals. Athena, our new ally, shall aid us in gathering all six of the crystals from around the world. As for you, Alfonso, you lied in your report, and as punishment you are now relieved of your position as commander of the Mid-Ocean Fleet, and for an indefinite period of time you shall be confined to Ixataka. Hmm? Ixay what? <laughs> You think that I lied in my report, Sai? <laughs> what are you talking about? You were attacked by the air pirates, and you deserted your crew and your ship to save yourself. Your ship and your crew were released by the air pirates and returned recently. They filled a full and accurate report. But, but... Our armada is invincible, showing any signs of weakness is unforgivable. I trust that you will not forget that. This meeting is over. I want all of you to be ready to depart at the moment's notice. Yes, Lord Gasser. These quirky ass people. <laughs> yo, you still in there? How long is that tunnel, yo? So, this is the capital of the Lua? Huh, it's impressive. It's beautiful, but the skies are so gloomy. Hmm. Lua is a beautiful city, but because of the fierce thunderstorms caused by the yellow moon, the city is shrouded in eternal darkness. That's the Imperial Palace straight ahead of us. The area on the left shore is called Upper City. Upper City? The people of Lua are either rich or very poor, and they detest each other. Each other. Only the richest people in Valua can live in the upper city. The less fortunate are confined to Lua City. It's on the right shore. It doesn't seem right to force them to live in poverty like that. Hey, Captain, where should we land? In Lua City, there's a dock there that repairs and remodels ships. Aye, aye. aye, aye. I'll bring us into the Lower City port. The city looks worse, clo looks worse close. Everything is so dirty and run down. It smells like garbage. But you still need to check that place out. Yo, by the way, was that kid just digging in his nose? <laughs> we need to find a way to save Dad and the others. Captain, what do you think we should do? Mm. I'm returning to the docks. I'll be overseeing the inst installation of the harpoon cannon. Uh -huh. Let's split up. Ike, Ike and I will check out the city while you get your cannon. When we're done, let's meet back at the end. Sure. Hmm. I'll see you two later then. Looks like Jack was starting to warm up to these two. So if you really didn't like us, he would just leave us, right? That makes sense, right? That's what I would do. <laughs> Safe point. I literally can't see anything. I don't want to come up here. I'm looking at the map. Yo, this music is hard, though. It was you. This is Lower City. The people of Valua are forced to live in captain areas, depending on their status. So, this desolate place is where all of us poor people are forced to live. Sounds depressing. Oh, it's a weapon shop. And items. Bet. What up, big homie? Welcome to my store. This is the what? Yes, I know. Nobody else is gonna be sitting there flexing like that. Blue ring. The fuck? Let's get it. Nice. All right. Uh, don't need. Ooh, I 
Actually, that's better for Homie. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Get it with the Dragma. Ah, shoot. Did I accidentally take it from him? What else you got? Ooh, they just bang. Oh my goodness, that damn smile. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and equip Mr. Drachma with the thing that I just bought. Oh no, it wasn't that, it wasn't that. It was actually that. Let's go. What you got? What you got? What you got? Uh, ooh, Sacrus Crystals. That's way more about, oh, but that's expensive. Um, I'll be back. I don't need it right now, but I'll, I'll be back. Hey, look, it's Pal. Oh, no, this is a red dog. <laughs> it looks angry as hell, what the hell? Oh, it's called a Husker. Pow pow. <laughs> it says pow too. Ah, those rich nobles. They're so lucky they get to live up in the upper city on the other shore. They get to eat good food, wear nice clothes, live in big houses. Ah, why did I have to be born into this awful place? I mean, shit. That's just where you ended up, dog. What's back here? Oh, it's a chest. A Sacrus Crystal too. See? Didn't even need to buy it. It would have been unnecessary. and a waste of money. Let's go left this time. Young boy. Hmm. Who are you? He was digging in his nose. <laughs> you guys look like sailors. Stupid ones at that. Why else would you come to all this way to see a, a dump like Lower City? Bro, stop digging in your nose, it's weird. Well, well, aren't we a little obnoxious? Kind of reminds me of a particular someone when they were little. Hey, was that annoying when I was little? Give me some credit here. What did you say? Are you trying to start a fight with me? The name is Marco. Everybody who is of anybody in this town knows who I am. <laughs> Such a short kid, you sure know how to talk big. Sorry, boy, but we don't have time to play with little kids right now. What did you say? I remember this, fools. Remember it. Write it down. Take a picture. I don't give a fuck. Why are you going to piss him off, Vice? He don't know. Bro, stop. I don't want to talk to him anymore. He keeps on digging in his nose. You regret having made me angry. I oh, remember this. He'd be all right. <laughs> What's in here? What's this place? Oh, it's a bar. What up, honey? Did you hear? Tomorrow morning, there's going to be an execution at the Coliseum. I heard that they would be executing some air pirates from the, the Armada uh, capture. But what? Is that true? Yeah, there, there was a soldier in here earlier telling everyone about it. <laughs> it's been a while since we've had an interesting show. They make execution in the shows? This place is horrible. Vice, we have no time to waste. You really don't, shit. They didn't kill everybody. I'm tired, just leave me alone. Alright, huh? Go ahead and take a little nap. Whatever the hell he was doing. Uh, I'm still exploring, so I know there's other things that we can find. Oh, okay. It's a lift. Oh, wait. Oh. I didn't know I, I could move. <laughs> Where am I at now? Oh, it's just a lift. Alright, uh, let's go this way. Oh, it's brighter down here. Oh, it's a little girl cool, drawing on the floor with chalk. Oh, she's adorable. They say that in the upper city, you can eat as much white bread as you want. I've never eaten white bread, only hard black bread. I heard people never chew their teeth on white bread. I'd like to try it sometimes. Yo, that's depressing. Oh my goodness. Somebody get that girl some bread. Oh, this must be the inn. 
I'm not going there yet, man. Hey, every single time there's a checkpoint, there's usually an end or something. There's supposed to be like some barrels I can run through. It'll take me to another chest. What's up, homie? We don't have much to look forward to in this city. One of our few pleasures in life is watching shows at the Coliseum. Sometimes they have criminals fight each other in a duel to the deaths. Or they just execute air pirates that dare to resist with lure. For some reason, it's comforting seeing someone else in worse position than ourselves. You know what? That that's I kinda understand that. I get that. There's literally nothing down here. Hold on. I know I'm not tripping. But like, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna reach I'm gonna retrace my steps. In fact, no, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be back. There you go. This is what I was looking for. Alright, I finally found it. And there's a door back here. Which. You go up the stairs. Boom, chest. Moonberry. Haha. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Uh, I'm not gonna save it. What's up, lady? Hmm. Are you going to sit the night? Say the gold. A night. Say the night. I guess we'll sit the night. We've got another guy joining us, a big old man. He'll pay for the room. You better be telling the truth for your own sake. If he doesn't come, I'll be knocking on your door. Okay, okay. If he doesn't come, then you can kick us out. If you want. You will be heading off to the room now. I was like, I'm not paying for that room. What? Look at this, it's terrible quality. <laughs> I'm so tired. I can barely stand. It's been a long time since I've laid down in a nice, warm bed with pillows and blankets. I'm tired too, Ega. It's not like we've had time to relax since we left Pirate Isle. True, I don't think I'll be able to sleep right now, even in a real bed. I can't stop thinking about Captain Don and the others. I'm sure they're okay. Let's at least try to get some rest until while we can. Uh, uh, yeah, stretching like a G. <laughs> who knows? Who knows when we'll be able to sleep in a real bed again? That's right. You've been cramped up in the, on that hammock in the engine room on the Little Jack for quite a few nights now. I don't mind the lack of space. It's just that the engine is so old and so loud. Well, excuse me for having an old ship. Captain, I didn't expect you back so soon. If you don't like my ship, you can find yourself another one. My ship wasn't meant for anyone but me in the, in the first place. I didn't mean anything by that. I'm really grateful, honest. Hmm. What's wrong, Edgar? You're quiet for a change. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, the air pirates, our friends, are going to be executed. They said it's going to happen in the Coliseum. They said that when they execute air pirates, it draws a huge crowd. Public execution? Huh. Sounds like something the people of this town would enjoy. We've got to hurry up and rescue them. They'll all be killed, Vice. What shall we do? Try and save everyone, right now. Let's sneak into the Coliseum. Hmm, I... I, I don't know. Well, that'd be stupid as fuck to try to save everybody right now. I mean, we could. Could we? I don't friggin' know. Let's sneak into the Coliseum. That's my choice. <laughs> hmm. Tomorrow, we'll sneak into the Coliseum. Dad and the others will definitely be taken there tomorrow morning. We'll rescue them there. Or then. <gasps> what? You mean you're not going to try and save them right now? If we start frantically searching everywhere, we'll probably get caught by the Blue One Guards. And if that happens, we're all dead. Vice is right. But... It may get a little ugly at the museum tomorrow, but it's our best chance to save them. 
Yeah. So tomorrow morning at the Coliseum it is. Now that we sort of have a plan, I feel a little better. I think it will work. Besides, we have the element of surprise on our side. So that's our plan. Tomorrow, we will break into the Coliseum and rescue everyone. Who's there? Someone was spying on us. Don't let him get away. Vice, need a lift? Okay. Yo. Hold on. He like an acrobatic. That, oh, that was crazy. Ah, oh, wrong way. Oh no! The eavesdropper dropped something in his in his haste. He received that from Crystal One. It's now or never. Man, quit running from me, kid. What well, can't you? Yo, <laughs> the way he was jumping looked kind of funny. It's Marco. Got him. <laughs> Yo, what the heck? That, that kid gotta be like a cool... I'ma say like... like 85 pounds. He gotta be like... There's no way he's just holding him up like that. What? Vice does not look that strong. <laughs> Put me down, you glass-eyed freak! What the? You're the kid from, from this afternoon. So what's it to you? Put me down now! Damn, dude, just didn't have to drop him like that. You didn't have to drop me. <laughs> Vice, did you catch him? Oh no, it's that annoying kid again. Who are you calling annoying? At least I don't have hair like a scarecrow. <laughs> I heard everything you said. Now if I was to rat on you to the guards, you'd all be executed. Well, that really leaves us no choice. I'm gonna have to kill you now, boy. Yo, talk me about that life. <laughs> like, well, wait, Captain. <laughs> if you're going to kill me, then kill me. It's not like anyone would care. I don't even think the rats would miss me. I've pretty much given up on life in this dump. If I'm dead, at least I won't have to search the garbage bins for food every night. Really? Good. Then you have no regrets. Captain, he's just a kid! Hmm. Hey Marco, the hole on the ground next to you. What is it? Oh. This, there's catacombs under the city. I've heard that they've been around since the old world. Now they're just sewers. This, this is where I live. Sewers, huh? Can you use them to get to the Coliseum? Yeah, they reach the Coliseum. Wait, wait a second, you were serious? Yep, if you take the catacombs to the Coliseum, you can sneak in without worrying about the guards. <laughs> what are you, stupid or something? You're going to get caught! There's no way! Why don't you just give up and go home? Can't do that. Blue rogues never give up. Especially when their friends are counting on them. Marco, if you ever went sailing and ran into a storm, with the way that you're talking, you'd probably just give up. It's too rough. You should have... You shouldn't have gotten on this ship. I want my mommy. It's what you'd probably say. What? Take that back! Even if you run into a storm, there's always a way out, no matter how bleak things seem. I've been in a really bad situations before, and I always look for a way out. I'm in that kind of situation now, and I'm not giving up. So, so what are you trying to say? Captain, Aker? Tomorrow, 
We're taking the catacombs to the Coliseum. Since we don't have to get there until tomorrow, we should rest tonight. Hey! Aren't you supposed to kill me now? You're going to be at the Coliseum with us tomorrow, too. You said that you've, you've grown tired of living, right? Well, I just want to see something interesting before you die. What? You can't be serious. The, the amount of times the vice just decides to try and be cool <laughs> is crazy. He's got that cool presence to him. Now, we had a plan. With our objective in mind, we hurried back to the inn, crawled into our soft, warm beds, and were fast asleep. Morning came much too soon. The skies were so dark that it felt like the sun had deserted us. Quietly, we all hoped that this wasn't an omen. It all comes down to today. I hope we can save them. Let's go to the entrance to the catacombs and get to the Coliseum. Either way, wait, either we all go home or none of us go. Alright. Let's make our way to the catacombs. Why did why don't they just call it sewers? That's clearly what it was. It was a sewer. Isn't the catacomb for like another name for like were they buried dead people or something? I don't fucking know. Just call it a sewer. That's what I'm gonna call it. Nah, I'm gonna call it a catacomb. That's what they call it in the game. Oh, there's a the ladder. And the hole is still here. Alright. So. <laughs> In the next video, we are going to be jumping down in those catacombs and making our way to the Coliseum. But until then, if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you get notified every single time I post. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ain't that right, Vice? <laughs> Alright, peace!